One of the most powerful tools I have as a developer is Git, but I feel like the tools surrounding it are completely lacking. Take something like for example the source graph. It gives you a nice looking visual representation of your commits, but you can't really interact with it in any meaningful way. But what if you had a commit graph that not only looked stunning, but was actually interactive? Imagine merging branches just by by dragging and dropping. Or how about handling GitHub issues, PRs and blame all without ever leaving VS Code, completely eliminating context switching. How you might ask and what do I even mean by context switching? Well, let me show you. So my day-to-day -day workflow typically starts with first of all opening GitHub. And right here, this is the repo that I'm currently working on. And this repo has two issues and one PR that I have to probably review. But with what should I start? Should I start with an issue or rather with the PR? Hmm, I want to start with an issue and I guess I want to work on this issue right here. Login title has a spelling mistake. Let's verify this. Log into your account. Yeah, this is a spelling mistake. So I guess it's time to fix it. So if I go back to VS Code, this is my login form component and I can verify that this has a spelling mistake. But who made the spelling mistake? Did I make the spelling mistake or my coworker John? I want to blame someone. And currently, I don't really know. Hmm, is there any way to find out? Well, let's think about that a bit later on. For now, I can just fix this problem and the next step is to merge this change. But here's the thing, I want to do it the professional way. I want to create a new branch and then I want to also create a new PR. So how do you do that? Well, I have to open my terminal. Then inside of here, I have to first of all create a new branch. Then I have to stage all of my changes. I have to create a commit message. And the last step is to finally push these changes. So in total, four commands. If I now go back to GitHub, I get this pop-up and I can compare the changes and create a pull request. But here's one thing, I have to add a description. A professional PR always has a detailed description to understand what changes have been made. But I don't have the time to create a description right now. So I will just create the pull request. This isn't the professional way, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. But what's the problem right here? Well, I had a lot of context switches. I started with GitHub, right? I opened GitHub, I verified that I have an issue. Then I opened VS Code. I fixed the problem. The next step was for me to open my terminal, update everything, create a branch. And then I had to again go back to GitHub to create the PR. And then of course, I had to also add a good description. I had a lot of context switches. And this also means that it's very easy for me to get distracted. In most cases, I will open Twitter and doom scroll for hours to just then remember that I forgot to create my PR. This is a huge problem. I need some sort of streamlined solution, which allows me to do everything in VS Code itself. I don't want to open my browser. I don't want to open my terminal. I don't want to create a PR description. I want to do everything inside of here right from VS Code, right from my editor. Is there any solution that allows me to do that? Good question. And actually there is. So in this video, I want to introduce you guys to GitLens. GitLens is an extension which supercharges Git within VS Code. And that's exactly what I want. I want to have a supercharged Git right here inside of VS Code. Now GitLens is actually a member of the Git Kraken developer experience platform. And this video is also sponsored by Git Kraken. But for now, let's Let's actually look at the GitLens extension in more detail and how it streamlines and at the same time also simplifies my day-to-day -day workflow. Alright, so I now installed the GitLens extension and my sidebar also updated. Because now I have this GitLens button, that's how I will call it. And inside of here I already see a few interesting things. I have a home view, a launch pad, cloud patches, cloud workspaces and also in my sidebar 
sidebar, I now have a Git Lens Inspect button section. This also looks quite interesting. But let's for now start with the normal Git Lens section. So inside of here, this is my home view. I already signed in and I also connected my GitHub account. And inside of here, I first of all see my current work items and then I also have this launch pad and this launch pad tells me what my to-do list for today is. So I have one PR that I have to review and also I can start work on two issues right here. So let's start with the PR. I can just click on it and then it will open this new window and inside of here this is the PR that I have to review. But you know what? I don't have the time to review a PR today. I want to do it tomorrow. So how about I snooze this PR? So here I have this button which is called snooze and if I click on it, it will snooze this PR for one day or in other words, it will snooze it until tomorrow 9 a.m. And now I want to first of all work on an issue, on the same issue that we worked on a few moments ago. In other words, this login text. So if I again go back, I can click on start work on an issue in this launch pad. This will again Again, open this new window and here I have my two issues and they got synced from GitHub itself. And I want to start with this issue right here. Login title has a spelling mistake. And now I have to select a base to create a branch from because it wants to instantly create a new branch for my changes. So I want to select main as my base branch and then for the name I will just use this default one. And then I want to also create this branch and instantly switch into this branch. So I will select this as you see right here. I'm now in this branch for login title has spelling mistake fix and I can also finally fix my problem. So we now have this branch as you all know and as you also know I wanted to know who I can blame, who made this mistake. So first of all, on the top left corner, I have the inspector. And this tells me first of all, when the file was updated the last time. In this case, this was 22 minutes ago. And also there's only one offer. In other words, I'm the one who made all of the changes. So I made the mistake. If I now scroll to the bottom, here I have my problem. And also if I zoom out a bit, I have this inline blame functionality. If I hover over it, it says right here, I am the one who made the mistake. Will I get fired? I hope not. But okay, this is already quite a good, you could say, helper, right? Now I know that I am the one who made the mistake. And I also know that this mistake has been made 23 minutes ago. And for example, this P tag has been created 16 hours ago. And it also shows me the correct commit. So when this whole thing has been committed. But I want to now update my, or I want to fix my problem. So I will again say login into your account and my fix is now finished right I fixed my problem so I can again open the git lens extension and inside of here you will now see my activity Lock in title has a spelling mistake this is the branch that I'm currently working on and I can also already instantly create a commit so let's do that right. I will just click on commit and this will auto generate a commit message with AI for me. So this is the commit message. It looks good to me and I think I can just commit it. I will also publish the branch and as you see right here, this default source graph, that's how I call it, will now also update. Now this source graph is not that powerful. It just shows me all of my changes, but I can't interact with this source graph. But you know what? I have a nice solution which I will show you in a second. For now, we can first of all again open the Git Lens extension and inside of here I can create a pull request. I don't have to go to GitHub to create a PR. I could do that, of course, but I can also do it inside of here. So I can either click on this create a pull request button or I can click on this magic button to create a pull request with AI. And I love AI, so I will do that. So as you see right here, a new window opened for me. This is GitHub. Inside of here, it added a title and it also added a description. I can now just create the pull request and voila, I will be finished. In theory, I can also merge it. 
Should I merge it? Sure, I will merge it, why not? So as you now see, my pull request has been successfully merged and closed. I can now go back to VS Code and if I open the source control, you will also see right here that this branch has been merged successfully. So first of all, we looked at the Git Lens Inspector. This is like this info bar at the top. We also looked at this inline blame. This shows the changes and who made the changes and when the changes have been made. And also right here on the top, I have this file annotations button. And this is very powerful because I can now toggle file blame. And if I zoom out a bit, it now right here on the left side shows who made the changes and also when the changes have been made for each section. And also this bar, which you see in the middle, like the separator, this is actually a heat map. So for example, this section right here has this red color. And that's because I updated this H1 probably like 10 times. And that's why the color itself has also updated. I can also, for example, open changes with previous revision. So if I click on this, it will now pretty much show you the previous example. So I fixed this H1, it had this spelling mistake, and now it's spelled the right way. So as you see right here, Git Lens already provides very powerful features in the community tier because these features which you see right here are free to use. And now I want to work on another issue. So first of all, I want to go back into my main branch. This is this one right here. I have to now also sync my changes. I can do it in the source control itself, but I will show you an even better way in a second. And now I can again open the Git Lens extension and I want to start work on another issue. And I want to work on this issue. Login page logo is a dummy one. Hmm, what is meant with this title? Well, thankfully, it also provides me with the description. And right here it says, Hey, Jan, the login page has a problem because the login page has a dummy logo, but it should render the real logo. Yeah, that's an easy fix, right? So I can just click on this issue. The base branch will be main and then the branch name. Yeah, that's fine. I can just click on enter and then I want to create and switch into this branch. As you see right here, I'm now in this new branch and let's also quickly look at the issue itself. So right here in the login page, I have this dummy logo. I want to have a real logo. So I can just open the login page itself. So right here it says Acme Inc. I can also hover over this inline blame annotation. And right here it says that I made the mistake. I was the one who created this fake dummy logo. My God, I will get fired if this continues like that. But okay, who cares? Let's fix it. This will now be Marshall Kit. And now I fixed my problem. But you know what? I want you also quickly look at the Git Lens Inspector because we now just looked at this Git Lens extension, but we also have the Git Lens Inspector. And this is a very powerful tool, which pretty much helps you to understand the history itself. So right here, I have this Marshall Kit right I just updated this line I can actually look at the line history and as you see right here it started with this commit where I created my landing page and now I made an update so this one line has two changes in total this line right here only has one change if I open for example my login form then this h1 your account in total has been changed three times so this is this git lens inspector it's super powerful because it tells me exactly when something has been changed and also how often something has been changed. Also right here, it gives me the file history. So this file itself has been updated four times. And also it provides me with this visual file history. I can open it in a new tab right here. And as you see right here, this shows me exactly when this file has been updated and also how much code has been updated. So for example, one day ago, yesterday, I updated or I created 32 lines, but today I only created one line and deleted one line. So pretty much I just updated one specific line. So now we discuss the Git Lens extension in general, but also of course the Git Lens inspector, which is very powerful. But let's continue with our change right here. I want to now commit this change and do I want to create a PR? No, I don't think so. I want to merge it directly into main. 
because I'm the CEO. So I can just open again my Explorer and I want to create an AI commit message. So I will just click right here on commit. This will generate a commit message. And then I want to just commit this right here and publish the branch. As you see right here in the source graph, it also updated because now we have this new branch. So now my branch is finished and I would like to merge it into main. So this branch right here. Now this source graph looks fancy. See, it looks nice. Is it also powerful? No, it is not powerful. Because if I try to drag and drop this branch into main, nothing happens. If I try to drag and drop main, nothing happens. So this source graph gives me a nice visual representation of my whole commit history, but it does not really help me. It's not interactive. So now you might ask me, hey Jan, does maybe GitLens have a solution for us? Do they maybe have a nice looking and interactive commit graph? Yes, they do. Because if I open my terminal, then you will find this tab right here, which is called GitLens. And what you see right here on my screen is actually actually the commit graph provided by git kraken or in other words by the git lens extension and this commit graph is not just a visual representation sure it looks beautiful as you see right here for example this is my main line this is a branch that i created and then merged into main and for example here i created a sub branch and that's why you pretty much get two lines to the right side if this makes sense and here i created even more branches but right now you see right here that i'm in this branch and this is my main branch and I want to now pretty much merge this branch into my main branch but maybe before we do that we can also look at this whole commit graph in more detail so right here on the top we first of all have the branch in which I'm currently in so I'm in this branch but I can in theory also switch into the main branch I can also fetch all of the latest changes from github itself I can create a branch inside of here I can for example open the launch pad or I can also for example open again this visual history which will show me the history of this branch so as you see right here this is the branch I can also update it to main to see the history of the main branch I can close this again make this a bit bigger and right here this is probably my most favorite feature because I can search for specific commits with natural language so right here I could say hey I want to know when I merged my landing page or something like that so here I will say landing page I will click on enter this will now search through this commit history and as you see right here I now have a few you could say results so for example here you see I merged this feature landing page into main so now I can open it for example and view more specifics if this is needed but in general this commit graph is probably one of the most powerful features that git kraken offers and as you all know git lens is a member of the git Kraken developer experience platform because here's what I want to show you I have also installed the desktop application and this is again the same repo and as you see right here this is the branch and this is the main branch I want to now merge these two branches I can just take this main branch drag and drop it into this branch and here I now get a few options and I want to merge this branch into main and if I click on it it will merge it and as you see right here we now have this new update and if I also go back to VS Code, it will also update inside of here automatically. And now on the left side, I also get this number two and then this arrow up. And this means that two commits are ahead of origin main. To fix this, I can just first of all go back into my main branch. So for example, right here, I want to go into main and then I will switch into this branch and then I can click on push, push, and this will fix my little problem right here. So as you see, this is a very powerful feature, especially especially because you can use Git Kraken, Git Lens in VS Code itself, but you can also use the desktop application, which gives you the same features, but in a separate application. And then there's only one more thing that I want to show you guys, and that's that Git Kraken can also explain specific commits. So for example, right here, I have this commit feature, enhanced landing page. So here, I probably added some sort of layout and some sort of theme toggle, but I'm not really sure what I did right here. So I can just click right here on explain and this will now go through this commit and it will analyze everything. And as you see right here, I now got an answer and here it 
explains to me what I updated in this specific commit. This is a very powerful feature, especially for repos that you don't work on very often. And yes, everyone, as you see, Git Lens is a very powerful extension. And in general, the Git Kraken developer experience platform is a game changer. And right now, Git Kraken offers a summer sale with 50% off Git Kraken Pro. Try it out. Use the link in my YouTube description down below. It's a powerful platform and they even offer a 14-day free trial. And now, thank you Git Kraken for making this video possible. I hope I can see you in the next video. And now, enjoy your day and I guess, bye!